Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek Konami model selection figurine, Volume 1. They actually did plan a Volume 2 for this, but it never went into production, so that's... Uh, never mind. So this time, we've got... Can you guess what it's going to be? I see an SL in there. It's Federation. It's... It's a Reliant. The USS Reliant from Star Trek 2. And it's sealed in the bag. It, it's, just, it's half a shame that these don't come with a little book, but these were never meant to be... Well, actually, I'm not sure if they were meant to be toys. So I'm sure they used to have, have sweets in them or something. Well, at least one of the sets I used to buy did. So, get out of the stand. These are bags. The Reliant is actually one of the few of the, I said, I think it's the only one out of this set that doesn't need construction. So, goes in there. 1864, just Reliant. Out of the ship. Dark. Now, will this fit in? No. Barely. It will stretch the plastic, and I don't want to do that. So, there's a Reliant for you. There's a, there's a, there's a sheen on these, on the Federation ships, which is kind of strange, but kind of... I, I'm, when I'm looking through the, the actual screen on my camera, it kind of reflects far too much and I can't see much. But then it comes out on that on the video, I don't know. So, let's get you in a little bit. Get some detail on this. So again, same as the Enterprise. It's not yellowed RCS thrusters and phasers, but still, there's a lot of detail work on here. Oh, what is that there? That's misaimed on the uh, paintwork there, isn't it? So I don't know if these have been painted or they've been stickers. Looks to be honest, I mean, that, that in the bar that it's been stickered. Well, that's fine. Keep it in focus. Yeah, it's a nice enough little ship that we don't expect Masses amount from Konami. I think these must have been about five or six pound per model If you could have got them from Japan I obviously I've bought them from a, a, somebody in the UK who's obviously got them brought over from Japan or collect them at the time when they were released in the UK Which I didn't know that they were I love the nacelle there 1864 It looks like, doesn't look like 1864. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's fine. That roll bar of the top there. Forward and aft torpedoes. She's quite a formidable ship if you think about it with a Reliant. Because you've got four tor torpedo launchers. And you've still got three phaser banks top and bottom. So. When you get something like the um, battle cruisers, the um, Enterprise Constitution class, you've only got two torpedo launchers in the front. You must have got more stock, obviously, of torpedoes, but you still wouldn't mess around with one of these in a firefight. And you got your torpedo cannons as well over here. Or phaser cannons, whichever one. Yeah. Have a look a little bit into there. For the, for the what these are, there the actually isn't too bad a, a level of detail. You've got a lot of windows on there. And these are all plastic, probably resin, made. But still, you got your red torpedoes launches in there, which is nice detailing. It's a shame they don't do these anymore. But Eagle Moss really did kick in way after these had, had gone anyway. So they're really massively better than what these are. They're half die cast, half plastic anyway. But these are just full plastic. But they're a lovely little collector's piece. Absolutely lovely little collector's piece. Yeah, 
some nice little angles on the Reliant, really do like it. Yeah, sorry, I'm just having a quick look myself on <laughs> video in it. Kind of looks on here, like a blue section on here, it looks like a, yeah, like an aero shuttle that they dumped on the on the Voyager, but it's, it's obviously not, it's extra parts on here. Because you've got the, the dish coming around here, and it finishes there, and this bit's been clamped onto the back of it. Unlike when you've got the Stargazer model, where you've actually got the dish copied from the Constitution class refit, and then added an extra section on the, on the end of it, and then added extra bits. It looked kind of weird, that, but still, probably an evolution of the ship anyway. So, not a problem whatsoever. Yeah. Very nice little ship. So, with that in mind, I'll stop gawping at this thing. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Comment below, please, and share the, the video. And I'll see you in a new video. Bye for now.